I'm Pete Delbridge. Uh, I'm on the south western edge of Exmoor. Uh, we got a 440 acre grassland farm. Um, we run about 850 ewes, or 820 ewes, sorry. Um, 50 export horns, 350 um, swelled ale ewes, and 420 North Country mules. We're uh, self contained and a closed flock apart from binding tops. Um, the exports are bred pure. Uh, the swelled ales, are, a small number of them are bred pure to, for replacements and the rest are crossed with a blue face lister to provide us with our North Country mule flock. Uh, we are producing um, um, store lambs and, and finish lambs and um, our mule weathers will be finished store, our better end of our uh, continental cross uh, lambs out of our mule flock would be sold finished and uh, the rest are sold through local markets uh, store. Now in takes place the first week of April. Um, they're in pens of uh, 50 uh, winter shore. When the uh, shed was originally designed um, th this was uh, give a penning area or line area of uh, 10 square feet for uh, 40 wool sheep. We very quickly uh, learned that when, when we winter shore uh, one of the benefits was we could get 50 in a pen where we used to get 40. So that in fact made our shed 20% cheaper than it, it was. So um, use in the shed are probably looked after 22, 23 hours a day. Um, we use, sometimes have a night lammer if we can get one, but labour is quite scary. We tend to look after them ourselves. Carol looks after them until about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then I get up at 4 and uh, first one in the shed and have a quick look around and get, get, a, get everything fed up and uh, before I go out and see my swales at first light. The swale rails lambing outside is quite important you look at them first thing in the morning before they get a chance to move about too far and last thing at night when they sort of dead up for the evening.